everyone, it's video time and today's video will be about one of the maybe most feared but at the same time most loved female weapons in the world which is actually a really Korea specific thing and what I'm talking about is Oppa. It is the word of the words. When you're female and in Korea, this word makes your life much easier. Korean guys love hearing it. The actual translation of the word means older brother. Korean girls say it to guys who are older than them and they're kind of close to. You may think calling someone you're not related to your older brother may be a little bit weird, especially when it's your boyfriend. But actually, this is really normal in Korean culture. They're calling each other aunt, sister, brother, sometimes even mom, without being related to each other. For example, in my hotel, um, all the housekeepers were called umunni, which means mom. Korean guys love hearing it. They can't resist. Once you say it, you put a smile on their face. Oppa is useful in many situations. For example, when you have no money for a drink, or have so many bags to carry, or if you need someone who helps you move in your household. But actually, for many girls, it's not about getting something out of it. Me too, by the way. It's just about the power you have. You know when you have these tough Korean guys who are like really cool and just care about their hair? You say oppa and they're melting in your hands. That's awesome. Why do Korean guys like it so much? I mean, older brother. The whole thing says, you're strong, I'm weak, protect me. Which guy doesn't like that? There might be some guys who are pretty much resistant against it, but you know, most are not. When it comes to who you can call oppa, the general rule is guys that are older than you. But there are exceptions. For example, people at work you shouldn't call like that, in general. Like, I would have never said to my, one of my co-workers, oppa, that's konbenim, juyeonim, tinjangnim, whatever. But also I wouldn't call a complete stranger oppa right away. Because that might seem a little bit impolite or even... I don't know a politically correct word for that. But there were also situations, for example, New Year, I was in a club with my very best friend and there was some guy who was actually kind of cool but it was loud and I met many people that day and he told me his name. Later he asked me if I remembered. I did not and I just said, Oppa. And of course that worked, he wasn't angry at all. I think there's this Oppa feeling. When there's someone you know a little and feel comfortable around, I think it's okay when you call him Oppa. They won't complain when they hear it. Don't call everyone oppa and don't overuse it because maybe if you do it, it a little bit loses its power. They still have to feel they're special you're calling them that. So sorry Korean guys for telling everyone your secret. I hope you stick with me anyways and that you like this video then thumbs up. If you want to see more then subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.